Hello friends, welcome back to a new episode of Noobs in Disguise. As always, I'm joined with Lambo, and today we're having a look at a Protoss versus Terran player. A hypothetical versus Cat, where the submitter was our Terran, and our Protoss player was actually a random who rolled Protoss. And that became pretty obvious here, as his first move was to actually chrono boost his own Nexus. Yep, you're not supposed to do that, because then you run into a supply block. Having said that though, the Terran also didn't quite open optimally. Terran against Random is pretty easy because you can just go for a Reaper in uh, all three matchups and you can go for a Barrack Scout and that should be fine. Uh, but our Terran here is going deep on the main and then CC first, presumably, which is also too late that he sent the SCV out towards the natural, so we'll see what the Terran is cooking in a bit as the <laughs> Protoss ties off with a Forge and a Gateway, giving us the first couple of hints toward what the Terran line might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my favorite thing is that this is a cannon rush with a double gas first. <laughs> 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 Saving up for the follow-up DT rush already. Terra now opens up with a refinery into a command center as well. So a delayed CC first, uh, another build that doesn't exist. He also threw down the command center while floating about uh, like seven or 600 minerals or so. So could have just instantly built a barracks and then a CC and everything would be timed the exact same timing. Actually, it would have been quicker, if anything. The follow-up here is going to be an eBay, which also isn't common, but probably is for a planetary, I assume. <laughs> I, I would hope so. I think this is a random specific counter where he goes for an early scout and then no matter what, he just puts a planetary on both bases to be safe against all three races. Genius, really, if you think about it. Uh, <laughs> What's the fast scout for? <laughs> <laughs> Just to, to make sure to mentally prepare for it. Maybe against uh, maybe against uh, Zurich, he might not get it in time. Against Zergling rushes, because he doesn't wall, right? So, so then he puts the CC in the wall or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I do like that. This is starting to make a lot of sense. The first cannon is now going up. Um, we'll need about three more lines of cannons for the cannons to start hitting anything that matters. Um, I have a feeling the planetary is going to finish before that. It's one hell of a counter to a cannon rush. So the planetary in the natural starts immediately, and the second cannon now gets built. This is still out of range. A third cannon gets constructed. This is a really weird way of cannon rushing that I personally never have seen before. Uh, because it's, it's, it doesn't even touch, it can shoot the refinery. That's it, no? Yeah, yeah, it's not good. But theoretically, if he keeps cannon rushing from that, the planetary doesn't cover the mineral line, right? Like, if there's cannons behind the mineral line, he can deny <laughs> the mining in the main base. <laughs> uh, unless he gets maybe the planetary range upgrade. But even then, I think you can put the cannons in a way where you can shoot. Okay, that can definitely is an range of the planetary. That's not going <laughs> to <work>. Really? There's <laughs> <laughs> a crazy call you made there. <laughs> I also think a planetary is better than a cannon. It's also going to finish faster. This no. one is good, though. Yeah, yeah, that, one is, that one's out of range. But, but do you think if the, the... What's it called? The upgrade, the range upgrade. High sec, high sec auto checking. You think this is out of range? It's out of range, right, then? I think so, yeah. Yeah, barely. He's actually going to do it. He's going to deny the mineral line by building cannons behind it. And I love yeah. that the first three cannons aren't even really covering the <laughs> cannon that's being built He's on the left it? side. He's getting the high sec auto checking. I love it. <laughs> 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 and he's getting, he's just, he just keeps expanding. He's like, okay, if I can't mine from half my main base, so what? I'll just take other bases. And the Protoss did not expand. I don't know what he exactly is making his Zealots for, because his Zealots do nothing against planetaries. Assassinate the opponent, planetary <laughs> when the Terran isn't yeah. paying attention. <laughs> we'll run in. <laughs> I, just, I just can't see it working for some reason, but the... Okay, th this this next cannon that he's building behind the main base mineral line is also good, but yeah, the, I like the Terran strategy of just continuous expansions. Yeah. Setting himself up for a great uh, later stage of the game once he realizes how to build the other production facilities. Yeah, I also wouldn't have minded if he just sent like three marines to clear the, the cannon that is building there right now, because it's completely out of range <laughs> of anything else. Like, it, just any unit that the Terran has could have denied the, the last two cannons. I'm 90% sure we're five minutes into the game. Uh, oh, Planetary does get the snipe there on the probe. Big moves. Uh, perhaps uh, our Protoss player Cat here did not quite anticipate the range for the Planetary to be there. Didn't expect that uh, eBay rush. We now have the building armor coming in. Two gases in the natural. And 
uh, Twilight plus, plus Stargate for our Protoss player. This man is making CCs instead of supply depots. He's playing this game. He made one depot just in order to get a barracks. And from now on, I think the rest of the supply is going to open up with extra CCs across the map. And I don't know why exactly the Protoss took a ninja base. Because as I said before, there is no threat for him. But he did decide to take a ninja base himself. And even a cannon in the most random location behind his main base. Potentially covering for a Liberator, I guess. Benji, if the turn doesn't look... Liberator. Maybe a yeah, Battlecruiser. Uh, <laughs> all of these units could just shoot the middle line without, <laughs> without caring about the cannon at all. <laughs> He's building a second dodge Double line. Double dodge shot. <laughs> <laughs> this is not real. There's no way this is a real game. <laughs> it's <laughs> this is fiction. Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. This, this is like one of these movies that's based on a true event, you know, and it's very loosely based on, <laughs> on something that happened. This is not how it went in real life at all. <laughs> the, the, turn, the, the turn, he just remembered his letter game. He told his friend to come play a game with him, trying to mimic what happened in his memory. But <laughs> <laughs> There's no way this is an actual game. You're not getting a void ray. He started Chronos in the warp gate again as well. Um, the Nexus is done, which is getting Chrono boosted. The income is slightly in favor of the Terran. That could be very much in favor of the Terran. Um, once, I mean, if there was any amount of orbitals here, this game would be uber over. Now it's just regular over. Uh, we have 18 workers in the natural, couple more tra transferring over towards, I guess it's the third base. The main technically could still mine from like five patches as well. Um, as we now have our first DT being warped in. And a second DT and a third DT. But there are turrets at pretty much every... Well, the first two bases mm. at least. Yeah. Just the first two bases. And you have to remember there are no scans in this game. Ooh. So so the DTs can actually kill all the other bases. The issue is that he's warping them in, inside the main base. So that's the worst base he could warp them in to. Because there's actually two turrets, not only one. Actually, in natural, there's also two turrets. And now he's building turrets at every base. This man... Hypothetically, has the spider sense. Yeah, yeah, he knows. He know he knows exactly what's going on over here. He knows exactly what's going on over here. Um, how many marines do we have? We have eight marines. I mean, there is a world in which the Titan doesn't understand how to actually make units and make the units powerful as well, because he's just building marines off of one barracks canal. Okay, just as I say that, he's adding a lot of extra barracks. Does he know about the tech lab though? Like this game on paper looks over because it is we're looking at what is it six base against two. All of these bases also set up with planetaries. Seventy four workers theoretically macro should be able to win games, but if the game knowledge is actually zero, <laughs> the Protoss maybe still has a chance. Yeah, we're not gonna fleet beacon as well, which is oh, probably the worst structure. Because I, I feel like that Colossus here would be a banger, you know? If you have unstimmed <laughs> Marine without combat shields, like Colossus do some serious work here. And um, we still have the 5DT squad in the main base as well. Yeah. I mean, Colossus would be the best for sure, but I think yeah, even just the air units are not bad because they can kill the planetaries for free without them walking into it, which I think at this level is a serious concern. Hmm. And once he gets up more of them, he has an actual winning condition. It doesn't matter what the macro is of the Terran. If he gets up to a maxed out carrier army, you think this Terran has any chance of survival? I don't I don't think he does. So the Terran now is officially on a clock. <laughs> We're not quite sure when this clock is gonna run out. <laughs> it could be now or twenty five. It's like minutes. ten minutes. Yeah, it's, <laughs> oh, three stargates coming in. <laughs> Loving the production here. The focus on production is very serious. So far it's only void race though. And we have started building a tech lab. <clears throat> so combat shield or stim is, well, within hand's reach right now. We're also going up to how many barracks is this? We have 10 done right now with eight more. So 18 barracks production. We have more tech labs coming in. No reactors quite yet. More tech labs coming in. So it's just pure tech labs over here. Still nothing being researched. The income is so, so good for our Terran player though. Uh, really, any amount of upgrades here would do the trick. I really wish the Protoss would stop warping in units into the Terran main base without doing anything. It, like, it, all of his resources should go into carrier production right now. It's not like he's rich himself. He has uh, 46 workers, which is barely more than two base economy. Four of them are oversaturated in his own main base, so... 
Uh, it's not. <laughs> it's not looking too hot. As he's now engaging the planetary in the Terran's main base, even with building armor, he will win that fight. Yeah. No repair being used there. Marines being sent in towards the main base. As uh, 17 Marines are in production, we have our first reactor coming out right now as well. After the uh, what was this? The 12, 15 tech labs that have been constructed. Not a single Marauder. No stim. No combat. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the Terran knows how it works. Yeah, I don't think so. This race actually works. I don't think he knows how to, cl to click it. This guy might have watched some StarCraft though, because he's building. He's building so many workers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely heard that the Bronze to GM guys tell him to macros the A or no. As long as you spend your money and you make workers, you win. The thing is, if your opponent actually gets to a max out carry count, and the only thing you know how to build is unupgraded Marines, you are gonna lose. Even like 140 supply, I think the game kind of ends. Of pure carrier, that is. Which we're not we're not at. So far, we have one carrier. Mm -hmm. Against uh, a big amount of marines. But I'm getting increasingly worried for the turn. It's three more. Away. I, I'm wondering, though. Is that actually true? Because carriers run out of interceptors now. Maybe not against unstimmed marines? And so they, they do, yeah. If, if if the numbers are very favorable into the towards the marine side, even without them... They're probably gonna win. Oh my god, he just A moved everything. He but shift A moved. Oh, he changed it now. Wait. What? Okay, he's searching for the third base of the Protoss. Thankfully, it is Ninjad, so he's not gonna find it. Yeah, oh, he's starting combat shield and stim. That's oh, really? the biggest moment of the game so far. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now we have a real chance. There's also a bunch of Marines stuck here, by the way, in between the barracks and the tech labs that aren't really doing anything. Uh, DT is now moving forward, realizing that probably there's a bit too much over here. Marines are just uh, collecting themselves on the other side of the map. We currently have 90 Marines out, 4 Carriers, 5 DTs, and 2 Void Rays. I mean, this natural is toast. You know, what if you just warps in DTs though? There are no scans. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if he warps in 3 DTs, they're gonna destroy the Marines. Like, he can't do anything about it. I don't- I really doubt this guy knows Raven exists. I'm not quite sure either that he knows how- how scans work. But does the Protoss have the clarity of mind to recognize the fact that his opponent does not have access to detection? To mobile detection, that is. I, I don't, don't think, think he so. does for now. For now, no. DTs on the other side are clearing some of these barracks, by the way. Carriers doing okay, but are gonna run out of interceptors at this point. We have the double DT, we have the triple DT. Exactly as you mentioned. They're gonna be one-shotting Marines, as the carriers are most likely gonna get taken out. I find this a, a good trade still. This was a good trade. All carriers died. Yes, the DTs eventually will, uh, you know, clean this up. But at what, uh, at what cost? A lot of workers, all the carriers... And we just have insane production. There's still 7k minerals in the bank. So that's a lot of marines. As long as Stim finishes, I'm going to be pretty happy. This fuck is running a dark shrine. Sadly for him, there's a second one. No, the carrier! Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, he could have had six carriers alive now together with the DTs. Yeah. I think this would have almost been checkmate because I don't think the Terran understands how detection works. <laughs> it, could, it could have been checkmate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, yeah. if he has six carriers now, <laughs> together with DTs, yeah, would he, would have had, he would have had like 10 DTs out. How is he going to beat that? Yeah, I don't think he's beatable. Even now, I'm still kind of worried. As long as these five DTs on the other side, if they don't move into turret range, and maybe the other three DTs start start clearing some, some bases or something, together with, with new carriers that come out. If new carriers ever come out, that is, two do start right now. There's five DTs at home. I really wonder what Hypothetical's plan is here. He, he lost all the DTs. Oh, really? On the other side. Yeah, it ran, it ran into turret range, I think. Uh, I'm, he also has a lot of his workers not mining, which is a big deal because he only has 30 workers. So he should check his main base and see that there's a bunch of idle probes. Those are the things really holding the, the Protoss back right now. Yeah, because his macro is quite decent. As in, all the gas that comes in is being spent. I mean, he's not building workers, despite floating 1k minerals, so maybe that's not decent. And I'm also not entirely sure on the investment on three more pylons here, while you're 63 out of 149. But, oh, 10 more barracks on the way. Does he maybe not know that there's a factory? I mean, he might not. He also, I don't think he knows about the orbital either, because the orbital is what has been really good. But, uh, yeah, the extra barracks are not necessarily that bad. No, I don't, I don't mind them. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Still uh, not really, you know. I don't think he also knows what a tech lab does. No, he's why would he get 10 tech labs? Yeah, 100%. He's no clue. He built a reactor once, saw that it, it <laughs> the building time was twice as long. I was like, yeah, no shot. <laughs> <laughs> One more of them tech labs. <laughs> they, they, they seem to do well for my Marines. <laughs> All right, three more CCs on the way as well. Four more CCs. I hope they, uh, these look like orbital CCs to me, right? There. You would, th you would think so. If he makes four planets, it would be hilarious, though. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very high tier move. Do <laughs> you think this is the first game of both of these players? No, it can't be. But for, first of all, you don't just upload a game to a YouTuber. Like, there, there's no way someone watches us and then sends us a re his very first game that he only just played, right? I feel like that's an unlikely scenario. And then also of the opponent just now playing. Yeah, it's... It feels like these guys are very new. Yeah, for, I mean, yeah. Maybe they just came over from League of Legends or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is possible. Oh, well, we found the base. The actual mining base of Cat is now under attack by five Marines. Does Cat warp in any units to defend it or not? Yeah, this sounds like a problem that two DTs would fix. <laughs> 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 I don't think they know about the recall either. He's gonna bunker up in his main base, throw on a couple of cannons up there. Says that, that, that proxy nexus, that, that ninja base, it's no good anymore for me. I'm gonna be taking this bad boy. Uh, okay. four, four command centers have finished. Oh, here come the DTs. Yeah. Yeah. Are, do you think these four DTs will kill every marine that are, there is? Yeah, they Over will. Here? Yeah. Oh, he's saving the probes, which is very good. Uh, he also is making Tempest, which Tempest have to be, I imagine, really bad at this level because we saw him not kite with the carriers. Yeah. But yeah, all of the marines are going to go down here. And all of the probes are saved, which I think is like the biggest deal. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, yeah, that's true. It's a very big deal. A couple more DTs do show up here as well. So we now have 13 DTs uh, smashing those marines to pieces. If only I hadn't lost those DTs earlier, that would have been sick. Factory starts! Factory oh. starts as a command center now starts floating over. Two command centers on the way to... Ah, oh, I guess <laughs> just to the top bases, right? Yeah, right. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> DT is going to take out these Marines. <laughs> still, the amount of Marines that get stuck here just just grows and grows. I think it's like, what, 30 now? A bit more than 30. 32, 33. How many Marines do you think have died so far in this game? I, I, I'm not going to check, but we'll, we'll do the guessing game here. I think one, 100, 180 maybe? 200? I'm going to go 230. Okay. I feel like it was mixed before. Let me check. A couple of times. 221. Actual good guess. Actual good guess. 221. And there's still a lot of cash in here as well. And a lot of barracks without uh, any add-ons. Turret now helping yeah. out. Don't forget, turrets have the uh, range as well as the armor. It's actually kind of a big deal in these types of situations. Against carriers, that's really nice. DTs are going to smash this thing. Um, once all these turrets died, and well... Actually, never mind. DTs are going to fall before that. As uh, 21 new Marines here are on the way, which probably means we have 21 barracks total. Yep, we do indeed. Yeah, this is okay. not looking great for Cat. It's not looking great for Cat. Here's another question. Do you think these Marines will escape their trap before the game has ended? No. Absolutely there's, like, there's, like 40, <laughs> there's like 40 Marines. No, it's not Or like 30 long. Marines. No, it's like 40. So this one is 40. I think it's 12 per, per row in this uh, overlay. So oh, it's, okay. Yeah, it's like 42 or so, I think I count. That's a lot of supply to be stuck for 12 minutes. As uh, Tempest now moving in forward. The Tempest, oh, this is what the Tempest are for. To clear the turrets and then the DTs clear the ground. We do have a starport on the way, though. I think he might know about the Raven. Might have Googled it during the game. Might have heard uh, every non-Terran complain about Terrans not using it. <laughs> Let me build that unit. <laughs> He's getting a tech lab as well, dude. I think he knows. Well, it doesn't matter because all the DTs just run into the turret range and died. <laughs> There's uh, officially no DTs on the map anymore. But good move from Cat here, cutting towards his cannons. That's actually well played by him. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's gonna that's gonna save him quite. So uh, every single base, pretty much every base right now has been taken uh, on the map. There's still three remaining that the hypothetical could take, and I guess his main base he still could take as well. So four bases. Um, oh, actually, there's also his third base. I thought it was a, a command center, but it's just all the barracks on the minimap. But there's quite a few bases he can still uh, fly command centers to. 
Carrier stay alive. Tempest stay alive. A lot more Marines dying. Tempest is gonna fall. That's a very good trade there. I think he only ended up killing like maybe 20 Marines or so for that one Tempest. Which uh, would definitely qualify for a good trade in this game at this point. You know what I am very surprised by? Is that the Protoss is behind in resources, Les. That does make you think. <laughs> that does yeah. make you think. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. The guy is just suiciding Marines against the DTs. Without detection. Also, if the Protoss at any moment at, at this game just had made probes and expanded properly. Colossus, uh, man. Oh, can you imagine a Colossus here? Yeah, a Colossus would have been insane as well. Would have been completely without micro, but I guess it's not necessary. If you have a certain numbers. Yeah, if you have like four, I think. No, yeah. like there's no stim being used either, so... I feel, I feel like four or five would be good. Yeah. Like, it's actually a crazy amount of Marines. It's just pure Marine. I mean, we have two Ravens now, now that all the DTs have died. 16 more barracks on the way as well, so we're gonna go up to 29. I think this is the highest amount of barracks I've ever seen in a game. The average Terran doesn't go above <laughs> eight. It's easily the highest amount, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it's not a very fair competition. SCV is now being sacked. Uh, free up some supply for more Marines. Hypothetical feels confident enough to uh, clear this outpost finally. After 22 minutes, he's like, you know what? These 100 Marines and the two Ravens, I think they might be capable of clearing up the three cannons that are still there. Indeed, he's going to be capable of doing that. Third base now is being taken at home for Cat, who hasn't really macroed in quite a while. There are still two carriers and a Tempest at home. Haven't been sent over. DTs could still be warped in as well, of course. It's still a unit that is, uh, you know, that deals damage. I guess now that the Ravens are out, not quite as good anymore. You have a base being taken out on the top right. The cannons are being thrown down. It, it does feel like that Cat is being uh, pushed into a corner. Yes, I think that is very fair to say. Uh, so, I mean, he's going to take out that base. You think he's going to put a Nexus there after he kills it? No. Because he already has the cannon set up. No. I don't think so. I think he's just going to kill the base. You see, I, because the thing is, is Cat aware of all the base on the left side? He's not really. He might believe he's playing someone that's on, like, two bases. But he saw he saw the, the bottom. one of them. Yeah, the two. I mean, you, you have to... You have to think that the one... Do you really, though? <laughs> I don't think you have to think <laughs> we think like that. But this Cat thing like that? I don't think that. that cat... Cat thinks he's not mining his opponent right now. I was really confused. Like, man, these Marines are cheap. <laughs> 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 They're really powerful. <laughs> this feels extremely unfair. Uh, his Marines are going to find this outpost. We'll clear it. Uh, I pray to the Lord that uh, at some point Hypothetical decides to A-move across the map. Otherwise, uh, they're going to torture us even longer here. We have four more gateways on the way because the thing that we were really lacking for the Protoss was production. I like that move. Gets a fourth base as well, but still hasn't built any extra probes. Basically whatsoever. Uh, it's looking rough for him. Uh, Storm would be sick here with the extra <laughs> gateways, but I don't think we're going to see that ever. Um, Colossus definitely not, given that he never made a robo in his life. And now the carriers that were harassing the Terran are also going to finally fall. As Hypothetical is multitasking, killing the, the carriers on his own side, killing the Nexus on the other, taking out the probes of the exposed base of Cat, and he's now going for the finishing blow, as he has an army with Marines and Ravens. Oh, has there go the DDs. Oh no, oh no. Oh. Figured what? it out. What's the chance he went into the help menu at some point, and actually saw that the counter to the DT is the Raven? Mm. I don't think... I think if you're at this level, you do not know that the help menu exists. Also, he hasn't pressed them once, even though he researched it. That's true. Imagine you force me to build ravens. I don't think okay, this sorry. is the own he thinks he is. <laughs> <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> I don't know. I guess, it, I guess it's a compliment more so than... Uh, is it? I think so, right? Man, you played so well with your DTs that you actually forced me to build Ravens. Instead of he just ignoring them the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> he, he also definitely doesn't know about the skin, man. If he, Sorry if for he that. just knew about the skin. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, is, this is like... Maybe we're getting trolled and there's actually two AIs. I... 
he's typing again, I think, because he currently has zero APM. Both of them have zero APM. I think hypothetical is uh, setting up his next no, no, he's opening the no, helmet. No, no, no. He's, he's moving his units. He's just zero APM because he can't macro anymore since he's mixed. <laughs> he's really confused. <laughs> Adding more depot, <laughs> maybe two more CCs. <laughs> maybe what I really need right now is more barracks. <laughs> <laughs> so many more units. tech labs, please. <laughs> more <You're> still <laughs> camp, camp, camp and barracks are still without tech lab. The ones that I haven't blocked. <laughs> There's 50 <laughs> marines stuck as well. <laughs> now we get two robos. <laughs> I, I think it's a bit too late. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, this, the game is still completely over. We have a single tempest. Oh, um, he's, he's sniping that. He's sniping the raven. Automatically, obviously, because the Tempest has more range against air. And now he can warp in three more DTs. Yeah, but DTs are on the other side. They're gonna snipe the turret. Whoop. Yeah, okay, that's it. Absolutely game over. I, I feel like my opinion on this game is the same at minute three as it is right now. Like I, I feel like <laughs> I, I could have locked in an answer here uh, fairly early on. I was too afraid to do it. 125 Marines. Um, how many has he lost? He's lost 313. That's a lot of Marines in total. And then the two Ravens. You know what is interesting? My spreadsheet tells me that Bronze is higher in Martin Saber. Really? Which I must assume is because people are bugged though. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. What is, the, what is the lowest MMR that you can get? Zero. I, th I think you can get to zero if you can keep losing. But the, the the lowest on an A is 1011. Okay. That's bronze three. 1011 wow. to 1247. <laughs> is, the question is, is this the lowest? Is this as low as it gets? <laughs> this is the end. Do you think that... I th you no, know what I think? Know. They I, don't know. I actually think that both of them had a really good time this game. Yeah, for sure. They actually love this. Yeah, that's why they're playing the game after all. Yeah, is it? It, it? it almost feels like Cat was sad to leave this game because his time ended here, you know, with his opponent. This is a wholesome experience overall. As Hypothetical finishes all the buildings. Oh, I love that he just decided to stay in. Okay, now he leaves. Kills all the buildings. Otherwise, not a real game. Good lord. Lambo? This is hard. I think it's my turn to go first. We can also write down our, our stuff so we... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, yeah. That's what we're going to do, actually. Let's write it down. Let's, uh, I'm going to write it down, and then I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to... So the, the, the submitter was the Terran, and the server was EU. What is the lowest MMR on EU? It, 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 it's bugged because it... Uh, the lowest that Silver 3 is is 1760, and everything below this is bronze, but the bronze leaks are way higher because... There's a bug. Okay. I mean, I'm yeah. I, I'm I, I have it. I have it too. Uh, okay. okay. Three, Three, two, one. Answer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I went for the MMR of <laughs> sixteen hundred. So yeah, I I believe that this has to be bronze. I I didn't even know if bronze was just a fairy tale or if it actually exists. But if it exists, it. It has this to be it. this one. Yeah. yeah, it has to be this. this so I it. went slightly lower than the lowest that silver can be. Because it has to be bronze, but I'm not quite sure bronze even exists, aside from bugs. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I put 1750. Okay, let, let me open. I'm so curious. What? All right. The server was EU, and the submitter was Strecodis, with an MMR of 2100. And 75. All right. So, yeah, it was in silver. I mean, the, the, the comments are going to tell us it's so obvious you made workers, but I don't know, man. <laughs> it's struggled a lot with 3 DTs with a max out army. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, because kudos. it also felt like the, the Terran had no clue what tech labs or reactors did and yeah. kind of discovered midway through the game that Stim existed. And only build marines, but was aware of the ravens. Maybe we should have given him more points for that. I mean, he did not use them though. He ran around with combat yeah, shielded marines. He researched it. 
Ja, but that doesn't do anything. This <laughs> 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 bush. <laughs> you say tomato, I say tomato. <laughs> it's all the same line. Well, you got Stim. <laughs> you had some of resistance. You heard of it. Maybe you didn't know you need to activate it. You thought it was a passive or something. But at least he got to the first step of researching it. And he didn't... The thing is, is that he didn't get, like, concussive shells either, you know? So he didn't just randomly click it. He he read the the, the tooltips, I guess. So that's... Nah, he, he he must... I mean, he's a submitter, right? He must watch some StarCraft. He must know that the Marines are good and that they exist. He but must maybe, be really yeah, confused why was... his don't move as fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, how do they yeah. move like that? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I guess congrats to you because you destroyed me once more. Uh, that's going to be it for today's episode of Noobs in Disguise. I believe this is episode five. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We'll be back next week with a new episode. Bye-bye.